boys and girls, thank you so much for joining us again this week. And this week we're going to continue looking at Jesus's life and his ministry on earth and what he did and what that tells us about him. Now, if you remember last week, Andy did the story and we were looking at the story of the 10 lepers who he healed. And this week, we're going to look at another story about people who Jesus healed. Now, if you weren't feeling very well and you hadn't been feeling very well for a long time, where would you go? Well, I think most of us would go to a doctor and we might even go to a hospital. And I want to show you something now. So this is Sadie's little Playmobil hospital set. And for those of you who were at church or saw the service on Sunday, will remember Andy um, talking about her little Playmobil set. So this is her hospital set. And what I want to do is look at a few of the little things in this set. So if you weren't feeling very well, you might go, this is, I assume, a doctor here. And can you see how he has a stethoscope around his neck? So he might listen to your heart or he might listen to your breathing, or there's even a little microscope here. So perhaps if you had something wrong, they might take some samples of some blood and they might uh, look at it under a microscope, put it in some test tubes and do some investigations to see what might be wrong with you. And you might even hear is a little x-ray. They might do some scans, they might do an x-ray and all sorts of things to try and see what was wrong with you. So there you go, that's just an example of some of the ways doctors can and nurses can investigate different medical problems that we have. And then of course, once they find out what's wrong with us, they can try to treat us. But of course, there's some sicknesses that are very hard to treat. And uh, what we're going to look at today are two people in the Bible, a woman and a little girl, who both had problems that were very serious that the medical people were not able to help with. And uh, we'll see what happens. So Jesus was continuing with his ministry and people were starting to hear more and more about this man called Jesus who was healing people. So if you remember from the story last week, he healed the 10 lepers. But of course, Jesus healed lots and lots of people when he was on earth. And also he performed other miracles and people heard of this and they were desperate to see and hear what was going on so those crowds starting to form around him wherever he went there would be a crowd of people some people just wanting to see something fabulous happening some people who were really interested in his teaching and some people who really wanted help from him and we're told in today's story, we're reading it from the book of Mark, chapter 5, about a man called Jairus. And he was a leader in the Jewish synagogue. And Jairus's daughter was very unwell. In fact, she was so unwell, he was sure she was about to die. And he was desperate. So he ran up to Jesus and he said, Jesus, please, please can you heal my little girl? I need your help. Can you come to my house? He says, if you could just touch her, I know that she would be well again. And so Jesus said, yes, I'll, I'll come to your house. I'll see your little girl. And all the crowds uh, followed Jesus to Jairus's house. And as he was on his way to Jairus's house, there was a lady in the crowd. And this lady had been unwell, the Bible tells us, for 12 years. Now, some of you aren't even 12 years old, which means it's such a long, long time. This poor lady had a problem where she bled all the time and it would have made her feel very, very unwell. And um, it, was, it was draining and it was perhaps painful. And also, boys and girls, it would have been one of those problems that was very embarrassing as well. And so people might not have wanted to speak to her or she might have felt ashamed. It was a very difficult problem that she had. But she saw Jesus and she said to herself, oh, I know, if I could just touch a little bit of his clothes, I know and I trust that I will be healed. I know he is so special. If I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. 
Now, as I said, boys and girls, there was lots and lots of people all around G Jesus. And if you can remember, we don't do it now because of coronavirus. But if you can think back to when you were last in a big crowd of people and how people are pushing from backwards and forwards and from side to side and people can be sort of touching you, um, you know, here and there. And you don't really notice it so much because you're in a crowd. But this lady, she went forward and she touched Jesus's clothes. And immediately we're told in the Bible, as soon as she touched Jesus' clothes, she was healed. You think of all that time she hadn't been well. And just like that, immediately she was healed. And at the same time, Jesus said, oh, who touched my clothes? And the disciples said to Jesus, how can you say who touched my clothes? You're in a really, really big crowd of people. Everybody's touching you. But Jesus felt and knew that some power had left him to go and heal this woman. And so we're told the woman came up and she said to him, Oh, Jesus, it was me. I touched your clothes because I knew that if I touched your clothes, I would be healed from my problem and I have been healed. And Jesus, who is so kind to her, I love this story because he understands that this poor woman really had been having a very, very hard time for so many years. He says to her, daughter, your faith has made you well uh, and uh, go in peace. You are healed. And it's important to realise what Jesus was saying there. This woman believed, she trusted in Jesus. She knew that Jesus would be able to help her and to heal her. And it was her faith that, um, that healed her through Jesus and the power that he has over sickness and death. So this woman was healed, but Jesus still was on his way to Jairus' house to try and heal his daughter. But then somebody came running up and said to Jairus, Jairus, I am so sorry to tell you this. Your daughter has died. And everybody must have gone, oh, we were too late. But Jesus said to Jairus, don't be afraid, believe so he was asking Jairus to believe just as that lady had believed that Jesus could make her well again. And so Jesus and three of his disciples went to Jairus' house and everybody was crying and they were wailing because they were so sad because the little girl had died. And Jesus came up and said, why are you crying? She's not dead. She's asleep. And do you know what they did? They laughed. They thought, who is this crazy person saying that she's just asleep? She is not asleep. She has died and they knew that she was dead. But Jesus, we are told, took Jairus and his wife into the little girl's room. And Jesus said to her, little girl, get up. And again, we are told immediately. Now, bear in mind, the little girl was dead. But we're told immediately the little girl got up and she started to walk around the room. And can you imagine how happy her mummy and daddy must have been to see her alive and to see her well? And Jesus told them to give the little girl some food and not to tell anybody what had happened. And so we see from this, if we look back to the little hospital we were looking at about how you know, we have brilliant doctors and nurses and medical professionals who are able to help us. But, you know, often they have to find out what's wrong. They have to get the right medicine, maybe have to do some surgery. Jesus is completely different from that. He is completely in charge of the whole world. And he can he is in charge of sickness as well. And he has the power to heal sickness. And more than that, when we look at Jairus' daughter, we can see not only can he heal people who are sick, but he can raise people from the dead. And boys and girls, nobody can do that. Nobody on earth is able to do that, which should make us think Jesus isn't just a normal human being. And of course, we know that Jesus is God's son 
who God had always planned from the beginning of time to send to us. And of course, Jesus, when he was on earth, was concerned with people's medical problems and he healed them. He healed this woman. He healed Jairus' daughter. He healed the 10 lepers. But we have a much, much more serious problem than any of those medical problems. And that is the problem of sin in our hearts. And there's no doctor, there's no x-ray, there's no medicine we can take that will make that better. But what we must do is be like the, the lady who touched his garment. We must trust and believe in Jesus. And we must trust that his death on the cross that we looked at, if we trust and believe in Jesus, that his death will take away our sins. And that we too will be raised to new life, just like Jairus' daughter, in heaven. And he can do that. We know that he has power to do that. And we know that because when he died, he rose again and he was alive again as well. So I hope you've enjoyed listening to that story. I love that story. I love it because it shows how powerful Jesus is, but it also just shows how kind he is. And he cares about us as well. So you have little worksheets to do. The younger ones have this little worksheet this week. So there is a picture of Jesus and you're to match up. There's the older lady and the little girl and which one goes where. And then there's a little picture to colour in if you want to. And for the older ones, there's a sort of uh, spot the different things in the crowd. You have to try and spot the lady touching Jesus's clothes. I'll hold it up there. And you can have a wee look. I think uh, there's a strong contender there. But you can see the lady just touching his clothes. And again, there's a picture in the back of the lady touching his clothes as well. Okay, so thank you so much for listening, boys and girls. And we'll see you again, hopefully, next week. Thanks now. Bye-bye.